the Apple Pencil Holder. By the way, everything that I'm using is from Michaels, and here's what you need. What you're going to do is take your jar, put some red paint in it, and you're going to take your brush, and you're just going to brush around all of the red to try to get it all on each half of the glass. From there, it's going to look kind of swatchy, so put water in it to make it look a little more see-through, which I kind of like that look of it being glass, but kind of like a tinted red color. And then what you're going to do is take your twine and you're going to put a little bit on the tip and you're going to wrap it around. But don't go wrapping it all the way around yet. You're going to take a leaf, you're going to then chop off the side, glue it right on top of where you glued the twine and then wrap it around. And the twine is basically the uh, bark bark of an apple. You know what I'm saying? That little brown thing with the leaf off it. That's what that is. And then the leaf is obviously the leaf of the apple. So that is your apple pencil holder. It is super duper cute and it's just perfect for back to school. You can even put this in your locker if you don't want it in your room. But it is honestly my favorite DIY out of all these DIYs. So the next DIY is super simple. What you're going to be doing is creating a chalkboard folder, which I think is super awesome. You can write all over it and it's functional. So you're going to need chalkboard paint, a folder, and white chalk. I did this one earlier, uh, well actually yesterday, and I'm going to just simply spray paint it obviously and then write on it. I mean I don't think you guys need to see me spray painting a folder. I did back and front and yeah, it's super cute, super simple, and super creative. Okay, now we're going to make these super cute bow paper clips and blow blows <laughs> bows are absolutely adorable here's what you need again everything's from Michaels you're gonna take some paper clips and you're gonna take some bows put hot glue on it put your bow on it super simple there are a ton of different things like this at Michaels there's like flowers and gems it's super cool but I decided to go with the bows and yeah I just made one of every color So it's super simple, super cute. You can organize papers in your folders like this. You can decorate your folders, which I will show you guys a little bit later. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the bows. So like I said, here is me putting it on my folder. And this is a great way to just like sit them until you have papers you need to put together. Then you can just take one off your folder and then connect your papers together. So it's super convenient and super cute. Next thing we're going to make is a do-it-yourself subject binder, and this one is for cause. So what I'm going to do is get a scrap piece, of piece, scrap piece of paper, scrap piece of paper, an accent color paper, and a white piece of paper, scissors, pencil, sharpie, and a ruler. And of course a binder, and what you're going to do is take the thing out of the um, binder, and it's pretty much the perfect width. So you don't obviously have to use that if you don't have one, if your binder doesn't come with one. But all you have to do is simply make the scrap piece of paper fit the binder perfectly. So when you slide it in, it's perfect fit. And I'm just measuring with the ruler, making perfect lines with the ruler, of course, as well. And then I'm just cutting it with these scissors. From there, taking your white piece of paper, you're going to make the width the exact same width. But the length's going to be shorter, so it can kind of like be a standout, you know what I'm saying, like standout, and then you're going to take the purple piece of paper and that's going to border the white piece of paper, you're going to tape the white piece of paper on top of the purple, you can glue as well, I just had tape, and then you tape it on of the scrap piece of paper, and then with your pencil, write your subject on it just in case you mess up, you want to use pencil, and then go over it with the sharpie. And then from there you're going to just erase the pencil marks because you can see it behind the sharpie, and that is pretty much it. Put it in your binder and you're good to go. And again, everything is from Michaels. Next, we're making this super cute chevron and studded patched backpack. So you're going to need all of these supplies here. And yeah. We're going to start by taking the masking tape and make pretty much M shapes on top of the flap and only the flap, so separate the flap from the rest. And you're just going to make the chevron pattern. And yeah, you're just going to continue to do that until you are completely done with filling the flap up with the masking tape. And that is what it should look like, pretty much chevron. And then you're going to go in and fill in the open parts with the black paint or whatever color paint that you want. Once the paint 
paint is dry, you can also use a blow dryer to speed up this process, which is what I do, which is what I do, which is what I did for the video, and then you're just gonna peel the tape off. So then from there, I just made a fake like studded patch so it looks like it has a pocket of some sort because this backpack was pretty plain. It is super customizable though and like I said, it is from Michaels because sometimes I get comments even though I say where the stuff is from. It is from Michaels. Michaels Craft Store. So yeah guys, that is the completed backpack and it is super duper cute. I think this is perfect for like gym clothes or anything like that. Just something that you can hold lightweight stuff in. So for the final DIY, we are making this super cute duct tape pencil. So what you're going to need is pencils, duct tape, and some scissors. You're going to simply take the duct tape, line it on the side of the pencil, you're going to stick it on, cut off the excess, and then wrap it around. It is just that easy and repeat it until the whole pencil is covered with the duct tape. I like the thin tape so you don't have to go and do extra cutting, but yeah, that is pretty much it. It is just that easy. So thank you so much for watching. Give this a big old thumbs up. Let's try to get over 1,000. We can do it for sure. Comment down below any video requests that you guys would like to see. Subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. Let's go.